In this video, we're going to take a look at the 6th grade nutrition GLEs. First, let's talk about what nutrition is. Uh, nutrition is a process um, of taking in food and using it for energy, growth, and health. Uh, your body needs uh, to ingest food and fluids um, <clears throat> so that it can, it can get uh, nutrients from it um, so that it can live, uh, repair cells, um, remain hydrated, all sorts of different things. <clears throat> and that's really what we're going to be talking about here is nutrients and the different kinds of nutrients and what it does for the body. So nutrients are anything that we get from food. Um, essentially uh, substances in food that your body needs to carry out its normal functions. And that's anything from breathing to cell repair to hydration, anything along those lines. So let's take a look at carbohydrates. <clears throat> carbohydrates are sugars and starches contained in food that provide energy. So when we're talking about carbohydrates, we're talking about energy source, an energy source. There are a couple different kinds of <clears throat> um, carbohydrates. One is simple carbohydrates. Uh, you can see in this picture it's got candy, cake, sugar. Um, this is, these are these really um, easy to digest and process and metabolize um, type of carbohydrates that give you kind of a rush of energy. If you've ever had a sugar rush, that's what it's referring to. Um, these are not uh, really good energy sources um, in the sense that uh, it it's <clears throat> does a lot, it can create a lot of different health problems for your body. Uh, that's what simple car carbohydrates are. The better ones are the complex carbohydrates. These are carbohydrates that are found in grains, um, uh, bread, rice, pasta, uh, beans, and other vegetables. Um, that, that are a good uh, source of energy. Um, it, it's much more healthier. These are the kinds of things that you want to have in your diet um, as opposed to simple car carbohydrates. Now, having said this, these things aren't necessarily bad if you consume them in moderation. Uh, whenever you start consuming anything um, in excess, th that's when you start having problems. So let's talk about good and bad carbs. Um, as we mentioned, bad carbs are, are things like refined grains or white bread, anything with a lot of sugar in it, uh, candy and cookies. And again, having one cookie is okay, having five at one time isn't, right? Um, the good carbs are, are, are green vegetables, oatmeal, uh, whole grains, fruits, things of that nature. The last kind of uh, uh, carbohydrate we want to talk about is fiber. Um, fiber is essentially a complex carbohydrate that cannot be digested. It's tough, stringy, it's part of raw fruits and vegetables and whole wheats and other ki kinds of grains. Um, fiber is really good for digestion, it's a good energy source, um, and it is a, another kind of carbohydrate. Protein. <clears throat> protein, um, we usually associate protein with muscle uh, building and creation, uh, and there, there's a lot of truth to that. Uh, Proteins are nutrients that provide the building blocks for your body to grow, um, to grow and for tissue repair. Um, normally, we get proteins from meats. We can also get them from beans and nuts, as you see in this picture. Uh, but typically, we get protein from from meats. Uh, protein again is associated with um, cell building, tissue repair, things of that nature. <clears throat> That's why a lot of people, when they're exercising or they're weightlifting, will have a protein shake. All right, fats. Fats in and of themselves are not a bad thing. Um, uh, fat's a nutrient found in fatty animal tissue or, or plants of oils. Fats work as stored energy, warmth, and protection for organs. Um, now, fat sources and kinds of fats are the things we want to take a look at. Um, again, everything in moderation. Um, you, you, fat will work as a, as a good energy source. Uh, if you don't eat for a long time or you're, you're, and you're exercising or something along those lines, um, your body will begin to burn fat as an energy source, which is why uh, moderating calorie intake and exercise is a good way, actually the best way to lose, to lose weight. Um, <clears throat> stored fat also works as warmth, um, and it also works as, uh, for protecting organs. So your, your kidneys might have... Uh, some uh, fat tissue around it, and if they happen to be hit for whatever reason, uh, the fat will absorb the primary amount of the impact. Saturated fats are found in uh, 
things such as dairy products, so butter, cheese, milk, ice cream, so on and so forth, um, and some other items as well, some other areas as well. Uh, saturated fats uh, are things you want to be careful with. Uh, again, uh, fats can uh, lead to um, uh, can lead to blockage of the heart in the sense uh, that's what they when they test your um, cholesterol. That's kind of what they're looking for because um, animal fat cholesterol, which is basically what the processed uh, animal fat is, uh, can collect as plaque kind of thing in your in your artery. So when you're talking about fats, again, everything in moderation, um, and you'll be all right. Vitamins and minerals. <clears throat> Some of you might take a, a multivitamin, uh, and you do that to supplement uh, your your food intake throughout the day. Uh, but essentially, vitamins and minerals are nutrients that regulate body function, release energy, fight infections, and make strong bones and teeth. Uh, vitamins and minerals, you, you cannot create them inside your body. It's required and necessary that you get them from an outside source. Um, that's why it's important to make sure that you have a balanced diet that includes these items. Water. Well, it's probably the most essential uh, nutrient that you can get. Water is a universal solvent, which means it breaks down any and everything. Uh, it's, it's important for digestion. It's important for hydration and your body being able to cool itself um, and regulate its temperature and regulate a lot of the body functions. Um, water is a very, very important nutrient. Okay, so balance, variety, and moderation. Um, <clears throat> body image is how you view your body. So we're going to kind of shift gears here and move away from what we put into our bodies and, and take a look at how we view our bodies uh, themselves. Body image is, is basically just that, how you view your body. Uh, this can impact your overall self-image and self-worth. Now our, our society does a lot um, to skew body image, um, and we're going to talk about that at another time. Um, but the main thing to remember when you talk about body images is healthy is best. Whatever healthy is, is what you want to you want to look for, what you want to shoot for, if you will. Um, stay away from what society says you should look like, uh, what you do and don't look like. It's really just about being healthy. <clears throat> and things that go along with uh, body, uh, your body image, are eating disorders. Eating disorders typically develop when you have a poor self self-image or, or you have a, a bad uh, view of your own your own body image. Let's take a look at some of these. Anorexia nervosa, uh, most people are just going to be familiar with the term anorexia. Um, it's an eating disorder characterized by self-starvation leading to extreme weight loss. We talked about limiting calorie intake. Well, there's a point at which um, that can become negative. For example, <clears throat> if you are trying to lose weight and you have uh, enough fat stores, your body's going to burn fat um, as, as energy. If your body doesn't have enough fat stores, it will actually start to burn muscle as energy. So if you're not eating, um, your body will literally start to waste away because it will begin to burn the muscle that you have on your body. Binge eating. Binge eating is basically just compulsive overeating. Uh, you kind of can't stop yourself and usually uh, people who, who do this will we'll eat a large amounts at a time and not eat for a long time after that, large amounts at a time. It's really not a good way for your body to be able to process um, and digest um, what, you're, what you're putting into it. It's important to eat balanced meals throughout the day and not eat <clears throat> a, a large meal once a day or two days or whatever it might be. And the last one we want to take a look at is bulimia nervosa, eating disorder. Uh, where a person eats large amounts of foods and then secretly purges. And by purging, we mean it's basically throw it up. So one might go on a binge eating time and eat a lot of food um, and then turn around and, and throw that food up. Very dangerous for a lot of reasons. One, your body's not getting the nutrients it needs. Two, uh, that stomach acid can really start to erode your teeth enamel, tooth enamel, your esophagus. Um, it's, it's not a good thing. These are three different kinds of eating disorders. Let's take a look at food labels. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. Um, if at any time you want to pause this and read about the different sections of this, feel free to do that. I, I recommend that as a really good way to, to further uh, look at what the different uh, things are telling you. The main thing we want to take a look at is, is identifying uh, food allergies, which we will do uh, towards the end. So if we look at, um, actually let's go ahead and take a step back. This label is found on anything that you ingest. Um, 
and it's going to tell you some key information about what you are consuming, uh, what, it's, what, what parts of it are good or bad for you, the amount of it, and so on and so forth. The green se section establishes a serving size. So in this case, the serving size is one cup or 228 grams. Um, serving per container is about two. So if you take, it's going to tell you you're going to consume about two cups if you eat the entire container of whatever this is. Um, it's also telling you the number of calories or the measurement of energy um, that's in the in the serving. In this case, we've got 250 calories, but 110 of them are from fat. Uh, that's important to understand because we talked about um, getting your energy from from different sources um, and getting it from um, things that are high in fat can be a can be a negative thing. All right, second part of this, um, the, the orange is basically kind of bad, and the red is good. So we want to limit uh, nutrients such as saturated fats, cholesterol. We talked about how that can lead to heart disease and heart problems. Sodium, which is salt. Um, and having high salt amounts is, is a bad thing as well. Um, you want to get a lot of the other nutrients. So what this is telling you is take a look at vitamin A, for example. It's telling you that it has 4% of what you should take, of the amount of vitamin A you should take in in, in a given day. Um, a lot of times these are based on 2,000 calorie diets. Um, so it's saying that you know you, it, this is going to give you 4% of that amount um, from what you need for vitamin A. So this, if you look at the, the purplish area, it's telling you the, the percent that you should have per day, kind of what I was mentioning on the last slide. If you look at it as a 2,000 calorie diet, this is telling you that you're getting 18% of that 2,000 calories or 18% of what you need in that particular item uh, per day from that, that nutrient, um, whether it's positive or negative. Um, the footnote, the blue part, just provides additional information um, that would be helpful to understanding um, what this, what the product is that you're about to ingest. The last thing we want to take a look at, and this is the key one for us, are food labels. Everything is also marked, as you can see on this box, as what it contains. And that thing that it contains could potentially be a food allergy risk. Like, for example, in this picture, it contains soy. Well, there's people who have soy allergies, so if you consume this, it's likely that you'll, you'll have a reaction to it. So um, it's important to know where to look. And if you look on food labels, uh, if you find the food label and kind of look towards the bottom of it, you'll find this section where it will kind of give you the, the warnings, the, the tree nuts or the wheat or the soy or the gluten or whatever it is that people might be allergic to. Um, you can find that. So if you are allergic to it, you can locate this, this, this on anything that you might ingest, and, uh, and you'll be all right. Uh, the images for this video were taken from these following sites.